Okay, here's the last one. I believe this is really the last one, you guys. Yeah, I know I'm wearing out my welcome. Y'all can change the station if you're tired of looking at this old mug. Ah, uh, listen. Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. With a request. Those of you who have relationships with each other, ask God to help you understand one another. Sometimes we can be so insensitive to the needs of others that we have no idea that every time we open our mouth, even an in innocent jest, we'll be using our foot to stomp on their open wounds, on their broken bones, causing excruciating pain and igniting extreme levels of anger. And we don't know it because we've been talking smack for so many years and they've been taking it. Everything and everyone has its limit. Take time to ask somebody from time to time. When I say that, I know I do it all the time, but does that bother you? And then if they say yes, it might surprise you. But if you care, you'll ask. Because one thing God does not want us doing is pouring salt in open wounds. It's very painful. And these little weapons right here, between these lips, they can do so much damage. You can literally drive out the life force out of a person's soul. You can beat a child's spirit out with your words. You can diminish a man's manhood down to nothing, down to dust, with your words and your little jokes, your little snide remarks. You can make a woman shrivel up with your anger, with your intolerance, with your criticism. Do you want your mouth to be a tool that gives life? Or do you really want your mouth to be a weapon of death? Using deadly force with your tongue. Driving out people's spirits. Sucking the very life out of them. Because you ought to be able to express yourself. Things that bother you, things that, that you have been putting up with for a long time, some things you need to pray about, not say about. Because there are reasons why some people are the way they are. And even though they may be annoying as all get out, God knows why you don't. You may assume they're this way because they think that way. Or, you know, whatever it is you may assume. But God knows the root cause. And the roots are so far beneath the surface, none of us can fathom what has happened down at that level. So even the annoying ones, ask God to teach you how to handle them. So that they can understand that maybe some things they could curtail a little bit. But they don't have to be made to be felt to they don't have to be made to feel like one big pain in the butt just because it annoys you. You can help them understand you and other people as you share with them ways that might help communication skills in a helpful manner, not a critical manner where you put down and you make little jokes about it. Oh, they always do that. Boy, I knew they were going to have to say it like that. They just they just think they're all that in a bag of chips. They blah, 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 blah. You don't know what they think. They just are what they are. They don't even know why. Some of the most arrogant people are ten times more insecure than you. But you want to criticize them. Mm -hmm. 
you want to say whatever you can say to bust their little bubble because they're so arrogant and you're sick of it. What do you think God is sick of with you? You can take marbles and diamonds and jewels and gold and copper and wood and stone and throw them in one bucket. Shake them up, try to decide which one is the most valuable. And you know what God will say? All of them deserve to stay at the bottom of that bucket because every one of them is flawed. Even if humans can't see the flaw, I do. And one flaw with one and a hundred flaws with another still put you all in the same bucket. That's crazy, isn't it? But that's the way God sees us because we have this treasure in an earthen vessel. That's what the word says, which means we are all imperfect to a fault. You hear me? So be careful. Uh, there's a scripture that says, all of our righteousness is as filthy rags. That is equivalent to an old used sanitary napkin. Yuck. And we all do fade as a leaf. And we all do. And, and it's all. Not some. Not them. But they're better. It's all. That throws you, me, and everybody else you hate because of their arrogance. Or their or their conceit, whatever the case may be, or their selfishness, or self-centeredness, puts all of us in the same bucket. So when you think they're on their high horse, don't you try to get on a higher horse so you can look down on them. Even the horse is flawed. <laughs> okay, Mama Sita's done. Just food for thought going into the new year. Don't be so intolerant to the faults of others. Because while you are suffering through theirs, baby, they're agonizing with yours. Hello.